So Halloween actually has its roots in the ancient Celtic festival pronounced Samhain, which actually marks the beginning of the harvest season at the end of the summer. So at this festival, people used to like bonfires and wear costumes to ward the ghosts off. However, as time went by, different countries started to pick up this tradition and make it their own. So I'm gonna focus a bit more on the Mexican celebration, Day of the Dead. You might have heard of it, you might have seen the movie Coco or heard of it. Um, and I'm gonna take in a virtual tour at the Kew Gardens exhibit. Hey everyone, this is Andrea and today I'm here at Kew Gardens to check out the exhibit on Mexico. So let's go check it out. The exhibition will be up until the 31st of October and features artwork by Mexican artists such as Betsabe Romero and Fernando La Pose. This tradition is actually extremely important to Mexicans and to the Mexican culture. And wherever there's Mexicans around the world, there's going to be a celebration of Day of the Dead. Dia de Muertos, Spanish for Day of the Dead, is a Latin American indigenous tradition that dates back 3,000 years. Aztecs used to honor the dead by putting their skulls on their temples, and this tradition lasted for about 600 years. After the Spanish Inquisition in the 1500s, Spaniards moved these celebrations to the Catholic dates commemorating All Saints Day. Nowadays, people build altars to honor their loved ones who have passed away by putting up their photos and food, drinks, or items that remind them of said loved ones. These yellow flowers are flores de Sempasuchi, or marigold flowers, and are a key symbol that can always be found in altars. They are said to be what opens the portal between the world of the dead and the world of the living, and guides the dead to their living loved ones so they can spend the day together. And this is possible mainly because of technology. Technological advances have allowed us to bring our traditions to wherever we are in the world. It is with the help of things such as QR codes where you scan the code or hashtags where you just click on the hashtag and you can learn a bit more about the tradition wherever you are in the world. Being far from home can be challenging, especially when it comes to celebrating your cultural traditions. But that's why technology has helped us so much to stay in touch with our families, our traditions, and our culture. If you would like to know a bit more about the Day of the Dead, the Mexican Society will be putting up an offering at the Student Center on the 2nd of November, or you can also go to Kew Gardens and visit the exhibition. Needless to say, you can also go online and find tons of information on the Day of the Dead or any other traditions.